Swatter. Foul. In scores again. He's got 22. Well, again, the difference in this ball game is the ability of uh, Brandon Heath and Matt Thomas, the freshman guards, to drive that ball to the perimeter and make a play. This time it's Heath, comes with a two-footed jump stop. And that's where Air Force is vulnerable, is defending that low-blocked area. Wild shot. Window on the nothing else. Here come the Aztecs. Slaughter. Offensive foul out of the difference in this ball game. Shooting 65% for the floor. And a five-second call. Three games this year in conference when it's led by at least 11 points. They're up by 11 right now as we near the seven minute mark. Shot clock at 15. Keith is just waiting to get that ball and drive that thing to the paint. What he's done with great effect effectiveness in the second half. And here he goes again. There it is. 18 points now for Brandon Heath. Points. The winner to play New Mexico, a team that is on the bubble right now. And a few times I've watched uh, Steve Fisher's club play and they don't double the post. They did in the first half and they've got six points now for Keller. Back to a 10 point game. Scott Lee said they were cheering for Nevada tonight. It certainly uh, does not help a school like New Mexico, which obviously gets the automatic bid if it wins this championship. But if it doesn't, that will not help the Lobos. But you also have Walton missing the three. Don't forget about. And swap it. Sharper will pull it out. And Heath with a bad decision. Saw the bait, took it. Under two to play. San Diego State by six. Put around Slaughter easily. Shooter this season as well. Sharper, another guy that really can fold under pressure. I'm not convinced I'd want him in the ballgame right now either. He's a catch-and-shoot specialist. At the Air Force, you don't want to foul now. Better with that basketball. Winner of this game to play New Mexico tomorrow night. Utah's points. 20 in the second half. And he's a perfect 8 out of 8 from the foul line. They will not run false motion now. They'll get right into their attack, looking for a shot opportunity. And there's a pretty good look. And McCraw buries the three in a timeout by Air Force. First pass, catch, and shoot with a system team. 0 for 2. And Bert Bertie right there. The ball goes off his hands. And he's pointing, saying it was off him. I think that's, that's what has Chris Mooney really upset. That's a huge, huge play in this ball game. Air Force, a team and a campus that thrives on keeping their composure, and Birchie lost it just for a second and may be the difference in this ball game there. Heath is nine for nine at the line in the game. 10 out of 10 and 28 points for the sophomore Brandon Heath. Keller rims out that shot, slaughter the rebound, and then he's fouled. If Air Force can't come back and win this ball game, they're going to finish at 18 and 12. And I think they are prime picking for an NIT selection. Sharper the rebound, and he's fouled immediately. Not double when the ball goes to the post. So they stayed attached to shoot again. It's all about if you don't win your tournament and you're not an automatic selection, does your resume stack? They're currently probably not in the field. Indiana can really help himself tomorrow with a win. Buffalo with a win uh, in the MAC today. So there's teams that are knocking hard on the door trying to get in, and teams that are supposedly in right now trying to keep the door shut. A lot of games left. Hoods three banks home with six seconds left. They need a steal and a quick basket. They might get a turnover, but Walton is able to call time just before the whistle blows. 25. Keep an eye on because they got four or five that are floating with a chance. San Diego State is a team to keep an eye on in the Mountain West Conference Championship. Steve Fisher's Aztecs, thanks to Marcus Slaughter and Brandon Heath, who combined for 52 points, beat Air Force 73 to 68. Stay tuned. The 2004 Powerade Champ Fest is next. 
For Jimmy Dykes and our entire ESPN2 crew, Dave Pash saying so long from Denver.